We start tonight with a follow up on that day long manhunt for a suspect in Marcola. Thanks for joining us. I'm Megan Higgins. Now we're learning two women were in the car during that police chase against their will. KZI 9 News reporter Stacey Kafka is live in the studio with the latest development. Stacey. Dexter resident William Mann is in the Lane County Jail tonight facing charges for having a stolen car, eluding and kidnapping. People who live in the area where the chase ended say they'll sleep well tonight knowing a dangerous man has been taken off the streets. Residents living on Pico Street east of Springfield are enjoying a quiet afternoon at home. After a scary situation Saturday afternoon. Cop looking out the window there, I saw where the hummingbirds and we kind of watched them come and then it's a rare thing to see anything out there other than squirrels. And then I saw a man come up out of the back right there and uh, right behind before he got to the cherry tree. Paul Alexander says once he heard sirens, he called police. We just kind of stayed inside and made sure that uh, our house was secure. Springfield police were in Alexander's yard and many other backyards on the block. I just wasn't sure. So it really, it really startled me a lot, not knowing what was going on. Searching for this man, William Mann. Police say an officer tried to stop him near 30th and Main, but instead he took off. He led them on a high-speed chase down Marcola Road, then turned onto Pico, parked right in front of Alexander's house, and took off on foot. After a lengthy search, police located him near the Springfield Golf Course, which was a relief to nearby neighbors. What a surprise, but uh, I'm glad everything turned out well and no one hurt. And uh, the police officers uh, did an absolute excellent job of containing us and keeping us safe. And, and we really uh, thank them for it. It would have been very hard to have went to bed last night knowing that there was someone loose in the neighborhood. Man is facing charges for kidnapping because police say the two women passengers in his car during the chase asked him to stop multiple times. The women tell police he wouldn't let them out of the car. In the stolen car, police say they also found the license plates from a car that was carjacked near the U of O last week. Eugene police say they haven't tracked down that car yet. Live in the studio, Stacey Kafka, KEZI 9 News.